this is Vivian Moline, I'm Tom Sherlock, we're both councillors for Port Laurel and we're here on uh, Boxing Day afternoon just to tell you a bit about the proposed developments here at Clifton Gardens picnic area. We have a set of plans which have been produced by the, the uh, landscape architect at the council with a concept, a recommended concept. Um, the main issue and the main concern we have is with the coral trees that are proposed to be cut down. Um, Let's go and have a closer look. A couple of weeks the councillors all came down um, to be advised as to what was being, going to be done. Now the intention here is to remove the brick paving that you can see which has buckled um, in certain areas with a timber platform of reconstituted wood. Um, in a sort of pale greeny grey colour, elevated to about 18 inches off the ground with ramps coming up onto the platform um, with new uh, outdoor furniture in a nice timber which I will show you a bit later on um, with a, uh, an edging around it of planting so that it just gives a border to the, the timber decking. One of the contentious issues about this whole um, area to be renovated is the, the four coral trees which the council are proposing to take down due to the fact that they are getting very old and they are dangerous because they shed their branches. Um, there is a concern that an arborist report hasn't um, been done to our knowledge um, and it would be interesting to see that to see how much more life is left in these trees. There's not much point in putting up a new um, decking, a new structure, it's all got to be ripped apart to take these trees out in two or three years' time. Um, the, uh, the, the concept that they have come up with is to replace these trees with fairly mature trees, as big as they can possibly get, uh, to plant in replace, in, to replace these coral trees. Um, at the moment, they haven't been able to give us a suitable tree or suggested a suitable tree. Um, and to provide some shade that the coral trees will take away um, is uh, two six metre square uh, pavilions with a, um, four posts and a nice um, corrugated iron uh, green roof just to provide some shade because of what will be lost in the coral trees. Um, one of the problems we have is that you hate to see any trees being chopped down. subsiding in various areas. So I think the timber decking at 18 inches above is, is quite a good option. Plus the planting around the edges and the ramps coming up for wheelchair access etc. Um, but you will notice that when you look down um, the, this side uh, of the brick paving you can see it undulating all the way down the length of this lifting area. The renovations that uh, have been recommended are only for this bricked area, not for any other part of the park. However, there was a mention of where the old um, hotel used to be, that they were going to do a stone slab in to mark out the area. Right. As you can see, um, obviously other trees have died in this area, we're assuming they're coral trees, but uh, this is what's been left behind and it's an obvious uh, uh, eyesore and uh, blot on the park so once again it would be fairly easy to just uh, put a decking over the top of the lot of it and replace the trees. So there are areas where the trees can be put in and start to grow even before maybe the coral trees have to be removed. Uh, the concept that has been recommended is for the decking to uh, be overlaid over the top of the uh, lifting brickwork, the coral trees to be removed and replaced with an appropriate tree, 
um, we're not sure what what they are suggesting and then you'll see two pavilions in the center um, plus eight sets of tables and chairs to be planted to be pl placed on top of the timber decking um, then we move along to the types of the type of furniture that they are uh, planning to use which is um, a nice street furniture um, just in an oiled timber rather than the, the old green and, green and cream. Um, the suggestion of the Norfolk Island Pines is another uh, part of the concept and the reconstituted decking which is quite a nice grey green colour followed by the pavilions which are four posts with a corrugated iron uh, green coloured roof, colour bond roof. Um, so this is what the, the, the current concept um, that is going to be tended on um, over the next couple of weeks. So I hope that this fills you in with a bit more of what's, what's on offer. Um, however, going back to the, the main issue is how serious are the cold trees um, and their health. Uh, these black areas shown on the on the drawing here indicate uh, a low shrub which would just give a border to each end of the timber decking and they the shrubbery would be the similar to the one um, over near the bins there the low uh, fluffy shrubbery which would soften the decking all right so we've told you a little bit about what post for the picnic area here at Clifton Gardens so now it's over to you do you want the coral trees removed? Do you want the brick paving replaced or left as is or the decking to be put over the top of the original brick And what do you think of the shade structures? Do you think that they are a good idea or not? How about the tables and chairs, the picnic tables and chairs? Would you like them all replaced in the park? Bearing in mind that we are, we are given a $80,000 grant from the government, state government, add towards this, we have to match it dollar for dollar, so we'll get $160,000 worth of work done down here to improve the area. Unfortunately, we can't spend it on the toilet block, which is the place that needs the most work, but they're the options, so... Look forward to hearing from you.